The Way of the Balloon If we look at this balloon, we can see why it frowns, for there is a string which tethers it down, and it wants to fly high in the sky, but it can't snap the string, and so it can't rise. It pulls left and pulls right, but cannot break free. It begs and pleads, oh, somebody help me. It strains up, down and up, until tired and sore, but cannot get more than a foot off the floor. It almost gives up. It's about to surrender when something floats past in a flurry of feathers. A bird who soars high, a bird that is free. The balloon shouts, wait, oh, won't you help me? Know what you hold on to, and then let that thing go. The bird cries as it zooms off, darting to and fro. So now, if we zoom in, we can see why the bird said that. A tiny hand grips the string. So, in actual fact, the string wasn't holding the balloon, but the balloon held the string, and the balloon had forgotten it could hold anything. But when it remembers this grip, the frown changes to a smile. It simply lets go and shoots up half a mile. As easy as that. He was free at last to play the forgotten game among the birds, clouds and stars. All around the sky, laughing and playing, he was back where he belonged and the view was amazing. And you who listen to this are just like this balloon. Your place could be there with the stars and the moons. It's no different for you. You could be joyful and free, but you're holding on to so many strings you cannot see. One string to know about is simply complaining that things should be different and why is it raining? One string is caring about what other people think, that you're weird or a failure or that your breath stinks. Other strings are all things that you think you possess, like your car, or your looks, or your postal address, or your toys, or your laptops, or teapots, or pets, your photos, your career, and your money, or debts. Of course, it is nice to enjoy some of these things, but cling on too tightly, and these things become strings, and enough becomes enough, and you're ready to let go. But how can you do this when you're held down so low? The answer is simple. And the answer is this. If you can make friends with the now, then you get freedom and bliss. Well, at first this seems hard. There's so much that seems wrong. But you can't fight the universe, at least not for long. So don't even try. Don't protest and don't fight. The only way to make a change is let go and take flight. The now is the key to setting yourself free. Accepting it enjoying it and letting things be. And you won't be alone because humanity is awaking and a new earth is ours for the taking.